Tom, thank you very much for those kind words. Thank you so much. I feel more than lucky, but very blessed to be honored with my leader, my speaker, Nancy Pelosi. Madam Speaker, I want to thank you for all of your great and good work. Thank you for never, ever giving up, for never, ever giving in, for keeping the faith, and for keeping your eyes on the prize. I know it is not easy. It is hard work. But you get up every day speaking up and speaking out and motivating us. I was so honored to walk out of the cannon building with you. <laughs> Holding your hand, you were carrying the gavel <laughs> on that day. Was it March 21st, 14? And we passed the bill. You let us. We did the right thing to help the American people. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Senator Levin, thank you for your leadership for your vision, long before you came to the United States Senate, he was a fighter, a warrior for civil rights, for human rights, for just doing the right thing. My friend, and your brother is my friend, and he is my ranking member. I call him Mr. Chairman. <laughs> and one day, we will make him chairman. Tonight, but this is all about Father Drennan, wonderful, blessed man. If he could speak to us tonight, he would say that we're a little too quiet. <laughs> that we need to make a little noise. <laughs> the speaker have heard me say this from time to time, and other colleagues here have heard me. When I was growing up in rural Alabama, 50 miles from Montgomery, I started up a little town called Troy, working in the field. I would tell my mother, I said, this is hard work. It's about to kill me. And she said, boy, catch up. Hard work never killed anybody. <laughs> Father trying to work hard for peace, for justice. And we're going to create a more livable world. A world at peace with itself. But no one, but no one is left out or left behind where we respect the dignity and the worth of every human being. We must make a little noise. We must move our feet. And we must find a way to get in the way. We must find a way to get in trouble. Good trouble, necessary trouble. We spend too much of our limited resources on bombs and missiles and guns. Yeah. We must come to that point where we will say, we will study war no more. War is messy. It is bloody. It destroys the hopes, the dreams, and aspiration of a people. As a great nation, as a good people, we can do better. And we must do better. Listen to Father the Drive. Listen to the Pope. Listen to our hearts. Listen to our guts, obey our conscience, and move our feet. Thank you so much. Yeah.